Okay, so this is an and inequality. The absolute value of x is less than 3. <coughs> and I want you guys to think about what we know <coughs> about if I put the x here and the 3 here and the negative 3 here, What's going to be true about the symbol that's going to go here? It's going to be less than. Big brain. Now, if I was writing that as x is less than 3 and x would be, then be greater than negative 3, it's because when I do a negative, the symbol flips, right? Yeah. But when I take this and rewrite this so that this part is over here, when the x goes into the middle, it's flipping all of this. So when I see an absolute value of x is less than, the less than symbol ends up in both places in the and part of the inequality. Question? Can I go to the rest of the I would say no right now. And then... How would this graph look? Three, zero, three. I think it's important when you're graphing an absolute value inequality that you put the zero in there because absolute values are always about distance from zero. zero. I'm gonna use a highlighter and I probably should pass them out to you guys if you wanna grab one, we can do that. They're both just less than symbols, right? And it goes in between. Now remember, this version up here is the version that helps those of us who are visual make that graph, right? Because we've got the x's to the left and it tells you which, arrow, which direction the arrow is gonna go. Thank you. I appreciate my perfectionist students who notice my little errors and politely let me know. It's mostly her. Because <laughs> um, I make mistakes. I've never said otherwise. So if that's the case, what do you guys think is going to be true about an or? What symbol do you think? Uh, greater than? Yeah. So if x, let's put this one on the right, if x is greater than 3, there's my positive version. What's going to be true about my symbol for my negative version? It's going to go the other direction. Because we have to multiply this by negative 1 to get that negative version. And if I multiply by negative 1, what happens to the symbol? It flips. So there's my or. Look, negative 3. And what's going to happen with my graph? The arrows are going to go opposite, opposite directions. Direction. <laughs> <laughs> Captured forever on YouTube, buried in an inequality video. Or not. <laughs> okay. So, I am going to have you guys do a little practice with this tonight. We are going to start on page 45. There is a triad at the very bottom of the page, and I'd like you to do A and B. And I'm going to just write them here for you right now. X, absolute value of x is greater than 15. And the absolute value of x is less than or equal to 7. But that's not all. On page 48, we're going to do a little bit more practice on yesterday's work. And I will put page 48 up here on the page and the screen in a minute so you guys don't all have to go get books. 
but today we're going to do 16, 18, 20, and 24. And then also 27, 2, 29, and 31 to 33. I will get all of this in classroom as well. 